So is, is Maxine with us yet? Or yeah. Yes. Maxine! <laughs> Maxine is one of our artists and she was having some challenges with the parking um, here in uh, Mount Royal. Uh, and so I'm, I'm glad you're here. Hello, welcome back. Her work is in the Boba Money Room. This is also her work. Um, so I was listening to it paired with the music and thinking of of the idea of, of working through like a life. Mm -hmm. So yeah. as the music sort of took on different patterns, mm -hmm. different areas mm -hmm. of the painting kind of moved for me. And so I, I thought of it as sort of this kind of trajectory from, from birthing to a more ethereal kind of feeling that you feel and that the areas you described as kind of listening. Yeah. But it has like a whole process to it. So it was really interesting to see that interactivity. I, I feel a total lost control. I, I, I feel like I see two storms ah. heading towards each other and, ah. and, and me as, a, as an individual or as a, a speck just caught up in them and maybe, maybe that's in my mind the question that, is that maybe that's life. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't get to control when you die. And you don't get to control a lot of it. No, no. Most of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, that's, I see two powerful, storms. Mm -hmm. powerful storms. And not that storms have to be, uh, have any kind of uh, moral or, uh, you know, um, good or evil or anything like that. It's, it's just a bunch of forces I can't do anything about. But it's me in the midst of um, to me, I see a kind of a, a tension between that H-like figure mm -hmm. in the upper left-hand corner, yeah. which to me seems almost fragile. It's like the last little bit of order mm -hmm. in the whole composition, or obvious order, where there are nice, straight, neat lines, mm -hmm. and they're in danger almost of getting gobbled up by the rest of the, the tumult and the rest of the, the painting. So it, it feels like something is about to happen and that that H-like figure is extremely vulnerable. Like it's falling into some sort of hole. Almost like it's falling into a black hole. A black hole, yeah. Obliterated. It's tipping in, right. Yeah. But in um, contrast to everybody else, <laughs> I don't see that as a hole. I see that as like the tallest mountain on earth, as seen from space. Yes. It's a height. Wow. Everything else is around there. Can you say that again? The center is a, is a very tall height, like the tallest mountain on the planet, whatever planet you're on. And then there are shadows and valleys and glaciers and I just see that as a magnificent landscape. I also I also feel that it's kind of a flight to wherever when you, you talked about your father. Mm -hmm. it, it's a flight to wherever what the presence is all about. So there's a serenity to me. Mm -hmm. I think the colors so kind of are to your point majestic but serene and 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 comforting. Maxine, did you want to talk to us about painting? Well, I, there's a couple of things I could say. Yeah, um, come up, please. From here. <laughs> <laughs> Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Late, though. Uh, I just wanted to say one thing about it in, in that if you'd seen other, other work of mine, maybe it would be more meaningful that I'm trying to be a little more open than I was painting before. And it, maybe the clouds are parting <laughs> as opposed to a storm brewing. Mm -hmm. Uh, the past is over and the <laughs> present is in front of me, the future is in front of me. So That's extraordinary. So this is new? Yes. Wow. This year. Yes. Yes, I can see the yes. Yes. yes.